I'm no good with technology sir. That cost 2000. The fitting room was actually a robot upgrade facility. Once completed the money was digitally taken from my passport account. Looking to speed up the cleanup? The post lady explained the job to me, I would be sorting parcels. Many people were now separated by desolate battlefields and needed these care packages to survive. The parcels were either red or blue. I just had to stamp the right ones, with the right color, at the right time.
the doors. The trade is now departing. Mind the doors. The trade is now departing. Trade is now departing. Mr. Dex TV Studio was deep inside the bombed out buildings of Big City. I'll departing. I'd made my way out of the station. Mr. Silton and the others jogged up alongside me. As soon as they got the chance, they ducked into an alleyway to change their clothes. Mr. Silton was the first to change. Dex Studios down that way, he said, in that huge posh building, the British Corporation of Truth. The Corporation of Lies and Propaganda. A wretched hive of scum and villainy, said Mr. Preston. And dancing competitions, said Mr. Silton. There are some benches at the other end of the road. We'll wait there till the crew leave then sneak in through one of the loading bays. We walked. I asked how Mr. Deck had ended up back on television. Oh. Celebrities weren't very keen on walking down the red carpet at award ceremonies with bombs falling from the skies, explained Mr. Silton. But they still craved attention and validation, so the solution was to host one big award show in a giant underground bunker at Burlington. You can't broadcast from deep underground. So they had to run cables to the transmitter through a vent on the surface. A bomb-sized vent as it turned out. It took a great shot. One in a million. The 
lack of survivors meant said listers like Deck were now the A-list by default. Just then, Mr. Logan interrupted saying it was time to move.
Robots are allowed pretty much anywhere in the building as long as they look the part, whispered Mr. Silton. You just need to be wearing no clothes, and have the blankest of faces. I didn't really like the sound of that, but I realized it was the only way I'd be able to get in. So I took off my suit and made my face blank. Blanker, said Mr. Silton. Blanker with an ER, said Mr. Silton again. Well, I suppose that'll have to do. Dex dressing room is in some lavish suite, said Mr. Silton as Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan lower me into the empty corridor below. Have a look around, whispered Mr. Silton, and we'll catch up with you in a bit. 